Hi guys and welcome to another review and I am reviewing a rather different product today. This is the QMX Star Trek The Next Generation Replica Communicator Badge. And I've never reviewed a badge before, so yeah, it's a first. This is the uh, bag it came in in the shop, so I'll just take that off now. It's uh, just stuck on with tape, similar to how Diamond Select put their instructions in the box. And here we have the badge, which has already been opened. QMX, we've got like a nice kind of a textured pattern here. And in fact, I only just noticed it is uh, the Starfleet badge. So they've used a more J.J. Abrams style um, approach to it. You can see a fingerprint on the badge. That's mine. Here it says, Amazing Magnetic Clasp, Star Trek The Next Generation. QMX logo, and he's fallen up. Choking hazard. And it just shows you how you put it on. And here we've got a little bio on it, so if you want to read that, just uh, quickly pause it. It's nothing too interesting, I suppose. But yeah, I'll just zoom back out. And just simply open it up. package and this is quite a heavy badge as well I'm just gonna uh, give it a wipe like, uh, make it camera appealing or what have you and here it is and it looks very cool now the first thing you'll probably notice is these two marks up here now what they are I do not know I mean I, when I got it, it didn't have them what they are I have no idea but um it does bother me to an extent, but not that much because it really isn't that noticeable from a distance and you do have to get in close to see it. Um, it's uh, obviously metal. In my mind it's gold and silver, to others it's just simply metal. Here we have uh, real gold, real silver, and um, what irritated me was um, this black line wasn't done the best, so I did actually have to go over it with a fine sharpie. Well, it wasn't actually a sharpie, it was just a normal generic marker pen. Here we have QMX written there, and you've got like a nice textured pattern here. And I look closely, it's just a dotted pattern, it isn't a Starfleet logo or Star Trek logo or whatever. Here is the uh, magnet section, and it really is very strong. Here we've got a bit of copyright, what have you. Oh dear. Sorry about that. Guys, I appear to have dropped the magnetic bit. It's fine. As you can see, here we have the magnetic bit, which looks pretty cool. I like the logo they have as well. What it stands for, I don't know. QMX, I've never really heard of the company. So yeah, it's a very, very strong magnet. And it wouldn't fall off unless you, I don't know, I suppose, bumped into someone relatively hard. And yeah, it's really awesome. It's a heavy piece and it's just, it's just nice. It's a nice cosplay item, it's a nice thing to put on a shelf. I suppose uh, where my Enterprise D is on my shelf, I could um, just kind of blue tack this there. There's like a little kind of uh, tribute to it, but I'll just leave it on a shelf where it looks nice. And yeah, I don't really review Next Generation things that often. This is the third Next Generation thing I've reviewed. And um, I have another one coming up right after this review, and believe me, it is amazing. So, uh, thanks for watching. As far as the uh, rating goes with this, I would give it a... Hmm. I can't rate it, to be honest with you, because it's exactly what it needs to be. I can't say it needs anything. I can't say it doesn't need anything. Um, to be honest, the paint could have been a bit better here. And um, as far as the packaging goes, um, yeah, I liked it. Maybe um, maybe a case to display it in, perhaps, actually, that would be good, that would be good, because for £25, um, it's worth it, and it isn't, so, yeah. They've also done a Voyager one, and uh, I've got my fingers crossed that they release one that you would get in Wrath of Khan, or the original series films, basically, I love that badge design. And, yeah, um, so I'd give it an 8 out of 10, specifically because it is... Dented up pretty easily. Well, not dented. I've marked as well. I mean, and the magnet. Sorry, guys. I do not know what happened. My bloody phone just stopped recording. So, 
continuing from where I was, um, I was talking about the magnet. It actually does attract other magnetic things and other metals, as you can see there, like that. And um, it can leave marks on the badge, so I would recommend you um, be very careful if wearing it as like a cosplay item or whatever. So, once again, an 8 out of 10 is what I would give this. Um, because it could it could need a display stand, it would be a very, very cool thing. Not even a case, just a little stand to prop it up. It would look very nice like that. So as it is, I think an 8 is fair, mainly because it doesn't come with anything else, and it does what it's meant to, but not worth the price, I'd say. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review, and stay tuned for my next review. It is a banger. Take care, guys.